Uh, but the idea here, oh, shoes are nice and cold. With legs back in working order, that's what we're gonna be starting with today. So make sure you have enough space. Try and make it a five by five foot can. So whatever your height is, make that the, the sort of width and length of the space you got at least. If you don't have that space, we can, we can definitely modify so that you can work within a smaller space. We are gonna be starting with the legs, but we're gonna start with a warm up today, starting with a nice jog. So come on back. The first motion, get into a little jog. Coming in when you're ready. I see me fidgeting around a little bit just because I'm not used to coming in late. I don't like coming in late. I hate it so much. But here we are getting going here. All right. Get another 10, 20 seconds out of the, out of the jog here. Again, we're just going, looking for a little bit of, of a knee pump here. The idea is I don't even bring my knees all, the, all the far up. It's more so for the ankles to dip all the way down and for knees to get a little warmer this way. Anyways, we're going to go into a high knee march. Bring that knee way up. Try and get it to or past the hip. Or if you only bring it up halfway, that's okay too. Uh, again, just like the, the previous weeks, if the march isn't enough for you, feel free to sink into a jog. But the warm-up, all it is, is getting the heart rate up and getting the joints moving. So you don't need to go crazy on the warm-ups. I'd rather you get focused in on whatever what you're doing and move it from there. All right, we're going to hop into some butt kicks. Same pace as the high knee march. We're going to keep going from there. About 30 seconds of this, we're going to hop into a side shuffle after this. Get that heel right up to the bone if you can. If not, just pick it up. The idea is flinging that foot up there, getting the rest of the motion out of the knee joint that you didn't get with the high knees. So, side shuffle. I'm going to do two steps. Feel free to do one step, but I'm going to show you the two steps first. It's shuffle, 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 shuffle. If you're just doing one, it's just one over, one over. So I'm going to hop back into the two shuffle. Good work. Get some ladder work in. Ladder warm up. Good job. Good job. After this, we're going to hop into some walkouts. So you're going to come to whatever edge of your space that you have and make sure you have enough space to walk your hands out. All right. Moving down to my edge of the mat or you're at the edge of your space. What are you going to try and do? First motion, fold at the hips. Reach for your, pretend like you're reaching for your toes. It's okay to round your back for this one. The idea here is I want to get stretches out of the hamstrings and out of the glutes. So we're gonna reach down, try and touch our toes. And from here, it's gonna be walking out. And then back in. The idea here, if that's too hard for you, feel free to come down just to bend and touch the floor. If you feel like you can still walk out, but it's more so the legs of the issue, feel free to try and reach as far as you can. Bend a little bit to reach the floor, then crawl up. Down, over, connect. Good, good. We're gonna do three more. Two more. Great start to the day. Last one. All right, after this, we need to stand tall into some jumping jacks. Facing me, up and over. Good work, good start. Awesome work. If it's too much for you to get the whole ball half out of it for a warm up, feel free to just bring it to a side tap. Make sure you alternate sides. I'm going to stick with the full jumping jack just because I want to get my heart pumping. Work, work. Okay. Last motion. We're hopping some shadow boxing. So the idea here is 
I'm going to line it towards my left, whatever that is on your screen, whether it's mirrored or not. <coughs> we're going to be up on our toes. Hands are up, up and ready to go. We're going to start with the back arm and then follow the, follow the front arm. So jab, jab. Go quicker, jab, jab. So up on your toes. Jab, jab. Jab, jab. Jab, jab. Good work. Good job. Keep going, keep going. Jab, jab. Jab, jab. Jab, jab. Let's turn sides. Flip it over. Still the same thing. Lean with the back arm first. Up on your toes. Jab, jab. Jab, jab. Jab, jab. Jab, jab. Good job. Good work. Almost. And done. Check everything off. Hopefully that heart rate's pumping a little bit and the joints are warmed up. We're gonna start with our leg work today. Gonna be all, it's gonna be all standing leg work first. We'll go through each of the exercises individually. I'll go through, I'll go through the instruction and explanation and modifications. Ooh. Our first motion is gonna be a lunge and shuffle. The idea with the lunge and shuffle is that we're gonna use the entire space that we have. Use the perimeter of what, with the inside foot. The inside foot is going to be the one more so. Oh, do I have an inch? No. It's going to be inside, leading down, and then twisting to go in. Because we're going to be shuffling over to the other side, and then going with the other leg. Inside, spin in, over, over. You know what? I'll just kick up my neck so you have to do a little bit more of me. There you go. So if it's too hard for you to go back and down, Feel free to just take a step back and dip it. If the back step is a little too awkward and too, too high calibration <laughs> for, for whatever more you got going on, it's going to be a front step. Instead, same thing with the, with the inside leg. Swoosh in, step, shuffle, shuffle, inside. Shuffling, get as low as you can. That's as much as, as, much as you can do. The idea here is if you need to stand tall and shuffle over, that's okay. If you can get down and shuffle over, great. I'm gonna get started in about five seconds. Follow along with whatever modification you can. The idea is that the shallower your steps are, the easier this becomes. Going in three, two, one, go. Down, inside, over, and over. Inside, over, and over. Inside, over, and over. Inside, good work. Good job, good job. A lot of these exercises, or actually all of the exercises, will be time-based. The idea is that you can take it at your own pace. If you've tuned into multiple workouts before, you've heard me say it, and I'll say it again, your own pace, your own race. Take it as you will. All right. Two, one. Good. Awesome. What we're going to do next, we're going to be doing some air squats. The idea here is I want those feet spread out nice and wide. They're going to be just outside your shoulders. So I'm, I'm using my hands to line them up, and I can see them in the camera. If you're, if you're lining up using the mirror, using your camera, using anything, feel free to find out and find your body shape properly. Anyways, what we're going to be doing is hips, I'm gonna show you my profile. Hips, get pushed back first as if you're sitting down onto a bench, a seat or anything. And then the rest of the way is down and over. Good. So, same thing with the lunges. Depth is what's gonna create the difficulty here. If you need to, grab a chair, grab a bench, grab your stairs, whatever you need to shorten that length. If you, especially if you feel like you're gonna fall backwards. So, what I'm gonna look for is down for, down for two, so one, two, down to the bottom, back up. One, two, down to the bottom, back up, good. 
I'm going to get started in three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, down to the bottom, back up. One, two, down to the bottom, back up. Good work. Good start. Awesome job. One thing I've been learning, especially about squats, don't mind other people's form first. My form is a good uh, source to copy from, but everyone has different limb lengths and different torso lengths. So if you feel as though you're a little more upright than myself, or if you feel like you're a little more lean forward than myself, it's perfectly normal. Musculature wise, bone structure can all affect the squat. Good work, good work. 10 seconds left, let's go, let's go. Five, four, three, two, and done. Great job. All right. Last motion we have going for any leg work, and we're just sort of repeat and, re and rinse and recycle, going for three rounds, but big step up. So where your squat was a little more a little more tight and neat, I want this as a big step up. The idea here is I do want you not to go so much go into a split, but to be able to actually load it over one leg and load over the other. So we're doing a, doing a side squat here. The idea here is I'm gonna push my bum back again, just like a squat, load up onto one leg. You can see how I'm trying to keep it as straight as I can. And then from both the inside of the leg, the, uh, the adductors and the quads here, we're gonna squeeze and push back up. Moving to the other side, we're alternating. Going down, squeezing the inside of the leg, and the quad, push back up. Depth. Depth is your key for difficulty. So the idea is that a lot shallower side squat is going to be easier than a deeper side squat. I'm going to get started in five. Follow along with whatever you can for modifications. Let's go get going. Two, one, let's go. Down, squeeze, back up. Again, follow that squeeze with the inside leg and the quad. Back up, other side, squeeze, back up. Depth is your key, you have full control over it. So if you need to take a shallow one and just hold it for a second, do it. Big wide step, down, hold the shallow squat, good. Down, hold the shallow squat, good. Let's load up, good. Awesome work, awesome work. Almost done with this round. First round of the day, five, four, three, two, and done. All right, water. Catch your breath, get some water if you need it. I tend to over drink on water. <laughs> if you watch previous videos or if you tune into previous workouts, you know that sometimes I drink too much and I get a little bit of a sloshy gut. But don't forget water because just as much as I over drink it, a lot of people do under drink it. And this glistening, this sweat needs to be replaced. Just as much as people can get cranky for um, not having food, water is also a big situation with that. Water is also a big situation with muscle stiffness. <laughs> so if you ever find yourself stiff at work, <laughs> start, start with drinking water before you start. <laughs> Getting on the All right. So what we're going to be doing, back to the, back to the top, come in whenever you're ready. The idea here is we're going to go back to that lunge and shuffle. Find wherever you're most comfortable. Again, if the back step is too hard, do a front step. If it's, if it's too hard to get low, stay tall. It's fine. The idea is that we're move, moving the legs in multi, multiple directions. So one, and we got two, and the same thing with the other side. All right. Going in three, two, one, let's go. Down, shuffle, shuffle, down. Shuffle, shuffle, and down. Good work, good work. Awesome job. Keep it up, keep it up. Use the whole space. Get your legs nice and long. Find a good stance to get into here. 
Definitely more than halfway now. Let's go, let's go. Keep it up, keep it up. Again, depth is your key to your difficulty. Find the proper depth for you. I do want the squeeze coming out of, out of the front, out of the legs here, the front of the legs. Two, one, and up. Great work. We're gonna move into those squats. I'm gonna show you my profile again. I'm gonna be going in 10 seconds. I'm just gonna reiterate what I've already been saying. We're gonna go for a squat for one, two seconds. Depth is your key to difficulty. You can only go to a squat. That's perfectly fine. If you can go to a bench, have some stairs, go to your own depth and find whatever you need to keep yourself safe. All right. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, bottom. Let's go. One, two, bottom. Let's go. Good. Back up. Come on, come on. Another thing. Don't mind me queuing. If you feel as though I'm queuing too fast. You can I'm queuing too fast, too slow. If I'm not on pace with you, that's okay. Find the difficulty in the challenge. I would like my people who do fast squats to try slowing it down and get the squeeze going. And for anyone who can't manage to get to my, to my pace, as in speed-wise, as in catching up to me, feel free to take it at your own. You have all the accommodations to sit down, to take a bench, take a chair, take some stairs, pick whatever you need to keep yourself safe and ready for the next workout. Three, two, one, done. Good work. All right, loading up on the sides. Side squat in time. The idea here, again, I'm gonna show you my profile so you can see how similar this is to a regular squat. The idea is pushing the bum back, knee goes forward, and I scrunch up with this leg. So you can see if I were to put my hands out, almost identical to the last exercise. But see the front, trail leg, down and up. Squeeze from both legs, let one leg drag on a little bit, find the tightness, and then push up. All right, going in three, two, one, let's go. Load and up, load and up. Again, and I'll repeat this because I like playing as a broken record. Difficulty is in your hands. The key is depth. If you need to take a shallower squat, that's good. If you need to take a deeper squat, that's good. Take your own challenge. At your own pace here. Good job, good job. All right, almost going for five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna get one more in. <laughs> All right, water. Break time. Catch your breath. Take some take some seconds to yourself. I'm gonna get started in about thirty seconds. Feel free to take a minute, take a break. If you feel like your heart rate's catching up to you and you take a second. Also, if your breathing rate starts to catch up to you, if your neck feels a little tense, if your chest feels a little tense, stop, catch your breath, come in whenever you're ready. All right, quick water break. Only taking swigs, because <laughs> again, I am used, almost used to the feeling. <laughs> It's not comfortable. Used to the feeling of sloshy good. All right. I'm going to go right into it. I'm not going to, I'm going to try and give a little instruction. If I do get instruction, it'll be during the exercise. I'm going to go in in five, four, three, two, one. Down. Oh. Oh. Down. Come in whenever you're ready. Don't mind me if you feel like I'm a little too speedy for you. Don't mind me if I'm too, a little too slow for you. Good work, good work. Awesome job. Use those long legs ears. They're built for moving. 
Awesome job. Awesome. Don't mind me if I look out the window. I just heard the plow finally trying to <laughs> trying to figure out how to properly prep, plow, uh, plow the parking spots that we have. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Good work. All right. We're going to hop into some air squats. I'm going in five. Come in whenever you're ready. Remember, heart rate, catch your breath. Control those. You'll be doing great. All right. Three, two, one, go. Great work. Good job. Again, remember, my squat form is going to be different than all of yours. We all have different bone structure. My femurs are a little bit longer than most uh, comparatively to the rest of my body. Your femurs might be shorter, they might be longer. The idea is you control for your own body structure and you feel comfortable doing the exercise. Five, four, three, two, one. Good work. All right, 10 seconds I'm gonna give you to hop into the side squats. Heart rate, breathing, under control, difficulty, key, death. All right, three, two, one, let's go. Down and over, down and over, down and over. Good work. One thing you might see me actually, and it's, it's I'll mention this in the last round. Don't mind wherever my hands are. Don't mind wherever they're, they're more so preferable for me to put out in front of my face and just sort of keep, keep me in a, in a space here. The idea is that if you need to put it on your hips, you want to put it across wise, or if you want to put it up and over your head, it doesn't matter to me. Put them wherever most comfortable. Leg work is going to come along just fine, but I do want you to be comfortable with the rest of your body in space. Five, four, three, two, one. Good work. That's the end of leg work. Wrapping up on that one. Moving into some floor, core, and a little bit of chest. Work. I always want to include push-ups into my work just because a lot of people get, but it's also a lot of emotion that a lot of people need. So if you've tuned into a lot of the last few workouts, <laughs> push-ups are definitely a part of the program. <laughs> but the idea is that I, we can accommodate you with whatever you have available to you, whether it be a wall, a window ledge, a bench, a couch, or the floor. I'm going to grab water. Let's get some core in. All right. So we are going to start on our backs. So <laughs> for anybody who is not a huge fan of the push-ups, you get some prep time to, to get yourself acclimated before we get into them. But what I am going to start with, friend favorite, family favorite, is reach and pull. So the idea here is my knees, my legs are going to measure my difficulty here. So if they're flat on the ground, easiest. If they're hovering above the ground, a little harder. And the more that I, pro I push my legs to straight, the harder it becomes. I'm gonna, be some I'm gonna be somewhere in the middle for today. Later on, I might kick my legs up. But again, this here is your gauge for difficulty. And then the easiest is on the floor. What I want for your shoulders, because this is where the core work is gonna come from. I really want you to lift the entire shoulder off the ground. Squeeze across the body as if you're gonna grab onto a rope and pull it down towards you. The idea of getting your shoulder up and off the ground is going to use those obliques across the body. And then as soon as you relax them, we're moving to the other side. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you from the other side, I want you to expose your chest to me. If you're, if you're looking at the camera here, if you're looking at the camera, you're exposing your chest, shoulders completely off the ground and we're pulling from here. So it's reach and pull, reach and pull. I'm gonna get started, find your difficulty, 
We're gonna go in three, two, one, let's go. Reach, pull down to you. Reach, pull down to you. Get that shoulder off the ground. That's where our core work is. Good job, good job. Good start to core. Keep it up, keep it up. Take it at your own pace. If you feel like this is a little too slow for you, that's okay. If you feel like it's a little too crunchy, for you, that's okay. Your own pace for this one. Core work is very individual, considering that some people don't have a, a lot of core strength. Some people don't have a lot of core stability. The idea is that you take it at your own pace, your own race. All right, more than halfway. Let's keep going, keep going. 10 seconds left. Keep it up, keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Relax. Okay. Next, we're going to move to. We're going to move, move into some dead bugs. What I'm going to get you to control for. I'm going to get you to try and lie as flat against whatever ground, whatever surface you have. The idea is that your back is sunk up towards the ground. If you're shirtless and you have a hardwood floor, you actually might feel a, feel a shock suction cup. A little weird, but <clears throat> what I'm looking for is to keep the back down and not arch it up. If I can stick my fingers under here, it's, a, it's way too high. I want to keep it nice and flat. So that's the first bit. Second bit, knees and arms are straight up in the air. We're going to go same side and it's going to open up while the other arm and the other leg stay upwards. And then we do it the other side alternating. The idea here is that to make it harder, you go crosswise, where it's my opposite arm. You can see this is the back arm and the front leg. And then switching up, we go front arm, back leg. Good. Make it easier, just legs. Hold your arms in the, in the space that you want them in. You can even cross them so long as the shoulders are off the ground. And it's just one leg at a time, alternating side. All right, going in three, two, one, let's go. Same side for me to start, just so I can show you how it's going. The idea is always bringing your knees and hands back to that same position, and the other knee and hand are going to be holding that position. Good. Now remember, back is flat against the ground. That's what we're controlling for here. That's where our stability and that's where our core work's going to come from. Push that back or use the belly to squeeze yourself into the ground. Hold it there. That's gonna make this exercise difficult. If you're more so just flailing arms, arms and legs about, might not feel all that difficult, but the stability of this exercise, of keeping your back on the ground, is really, is difficult. All right, 10 seconds left. Let's go, let's go. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Good work. All right, let's spin around off onto our stomachs. The idea here, people may not realize beyond the chest work and beyond the arm work, push-ups are a good amount of core work. I'm gonna stand up just to show you the modifications just in case you're using a wall or bench or chair. The idea here, straight from the shoulders, fire out. They wanna be finishing around your chest to chin height. And so if I walk myself out and I apply pressure, I'm going to push my hands down. You can see how it doesn't really come past my chin, my wrists. If I need to, I walk up and it doesn't come past my chest. That's where I want all the strength going into. Same thing with the ledge. Chest and chin, arms out, come down. You can see how it doesn't come past my chest. Again, most powerful position is right around the chest. That's where we want to be pushing from. From the ground, what we're, gonna, what we're looking for is straight from the shoulders, fire out, down towards the ground. Put your shoulders right above your hands. All right, if you're coming from the knees, the idea is toes and knees on the ground, and we're gonna be pushing all the way down to the ground and then back up, trying to stay as flat as the board. If you're coming from toes, pin up those toes, down to the ground, up to the sky. All right. Start with the quick instructions, but the idea is pick your modification as you need. Find the wall, find the ledge, find the ground, wherever you need to come from, and try try the most difficult one that you feel as though is appropriate for you. 
All right, coming into this, I'm gonna start with my knees. We're gonna get started in five. The idea again, flat as a board for all of these and between chest and chin height, that's where the power is gonna come from. Two, one, let's go, down. If you tune into the, into the workouts or on demand, you'll know that I, I like to talk about finding these exercises and feeling them out. The idea is that it's nice to have the camera. It's nice to have the sort of figure to copy, but I do want you to end up trying to feel for these exercises for yourself. I want all of you to feel this in your chest, in your shoulders, in the back of your arms. And I want you to find those feelings. That's where all the strength is going to come from. And that's where the appropriate set of learning is going to come from. Good work, good work. Five, four, three, two, one. Good work. All right. Awesome job. You'd be surprised that that's it. <laughs> that's our 30 minutes. Good work today. Good job with the push-ups, whatever version you tried. Even if you didn't try, you got yourself psyched up to do the workout today. Proud of you. All right. I hope this recording goes well, considering I've seen a lot of notifications about, about internet connection. So I hope you guys all just got to tune in properly. <laughs> and I really hope you have a, have a wonderful day. <laughs> no, no problem, Grace. Uh, have a wonderful Taylor. snow day. If you still have a snow day, if you, didn't, if you don't have a snow day today, have a great day. And I hope that, hope that the city eventually gets around to wherever you are for cleaning up all this snow. All right. Have a good day, everybody.